I'm not crazy. That man was in my room last night. I saw him and I felt him. She is a prisoner. They got her locked away. Peter! Peter! You won't help her, then I will. I think she should be institutionalized. <laughs> If you ever come back here, you'll go to jail. I'll come. Hi. Hello, Scott. How are you? Fine, fine. Good. You're up very early for a Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. It's great being up early. You all right? Huh? Nothing wrong? Oh, no. Can I fix you a little breakfast? You haven't eaten yet, have you? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, too bad. Fix a mean omelet. All right, come on. What's wrong? Okay, um... Okay, um... I know how you're always open to new clients. I'm not going to like the sound of this. No, just let me explain, OK? A woman came into the club where I was playing last night. I knew I wasn't going to like the sound of this. I had seen her a few times before, but this time she was crying. So I, um, I took her out for a cup of coffee, and, uh, and I found out she's in a lot of trouble. And you told her about me? Yeah. What else was I going to do? It's her first time in New York. She doesn't have any money. Scott! And she's pregnant. And what's that got to do with me? No, see, the guy who got her that way has been following her around, and he says that he's gonna beat her up if she doesn't come back to him. She told you that, did she? Yeah, last night. Scott, please do tell me that is not her. No, that's her. She's been waiting outside. You're gonna love her, Dad. She's really nice. Scott! Dad, this is Shirley Gossett. Uh, Shirley, this is my father, Robert McCall. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. McCall. Your apartment is lovely. Thank you, Miss Gossett. Uh, Shirley, mm -hmm. um, I told my dad a little bit about uh, what you told me last night at the club. Uh, and if anyone can help you, he can. Well, I'm just so glad you've been honest with him, Scott. I, I think this is a very mature decision. Well, what are you talking about? Well, you can't keep me in the closet forever. Uh, I'm sorry. Scott, hold on. Excuse me, Miss Gossett. Would you elaborate on that statement? You mean you haven't told him? Mr. McCall, you're... Well... Your son is the father of my child. <laughs> and I'll call as soon as I've landed in Hawaii, just to make sure. Okay, well, have a safe flight. Dad, I swear, the only thing I ever shared with that woman is a cup of coffee. You've got to believe me. Oh, I do. I do. I was just thinking, when this is all settled, you and I are going to have a very serious conversation. Okay, okay. Um, but, Dad, what do we do now? Do you think she wants money? Well, how else is she going to mend her broken heart? I'll tell you something else that's definite. What? She's not going to be alone. What do you mean? She's a shark. Female con artist. Female con artists always have a bodyguard. This is a nightmare. Mind you, there is one thing that a shark respects. What's that? A bigger shark. 
We're going back inside, and don't you say a word, Scott. Not one single word. Well, Miss Gossett, we really have arrived at a most amusing situation. What do you mean? Two massive liars have collided. You don't believe me? Oh, yes, yes, I do. I believe every word, every single word. Anyway, Scott has admitted the whole sordid affair. Tell me all about it. Nasty little steamy meetings in dirty little hotels. Oh, it's it. The whole thing is absolutely disgusting. I don't know why you two young people didn't come to me before. Scott, don't you think it is time that we told this young woman the truth? Wait a minute, I don't understand. Don't worry, sweetheart, you will. Scott, sit down. You see, he is not my son any more than you are his mistress. What do you mean he's not your son? You're lying. No. Nope. You see, we have a business arrangement, he and I. We are international distributors of an age-old product, young women. He collects them for me. But... Usually on a Saturday morning. Now, Miss Gossett, where would you like your child to be born? Hmm? Paraguay? Saudi Arabia? You see, we're going to get a very, very good price for you, sweetheart. After all, it's two for the price of one, isn't it? You get away from me. Bill! Bill, I got trouble in here! Bill? Who's Bill? you i think it's saudi arabia of you sweetheart i really do i can just see you now out there in the middle of a beautiful desert in a hot hot harem sweetheart you have precisely 10 seconds to get out of this building and don't you ever ever come back you jerk Where do you think you're going? Um, Scott, I think it is now time that you and I have this little conversation. Oh, Dad, can we postpone that for another time? I have an appointment with an old friend, and I'm late already. I really appreciate how you handled that. That was, that was great. Uh, I'll let myself out the back way. One hundred. <laughs> 